Hi, my name is Max, and this is 50 Random Facts About Max. About me. 50 Random Facts About Me. Good start. My first name is actually Steven. My full name is Steven Maximilian Wise. My parents thought that Max was a good name, but my grandmother didn't like it, so they sort of hedged their bets. But everyone's always called me Max my whole life. My favorite drink is generally lemonade, or an iced tea, or an Arnold Palmer, which is the mix. And then if I'm boozing, it's probably just uh, regular whiskey. I am 5 foot 10. I wrestled in high school and in college. In high school I was 145 pounds, in college I was 165 pounds. Today I'm 195 pounds. So, eat your vegetables. I am a huge Fast and the Furious fan. You almost had me? You never had me. You never had your car. Cause the buster kept me out of handcuffs. My favorite superhero is Spider-Man. Growing up, I don't know, I guess I could relate to like a CNA nerdy kid who maybe wasn't the most popular kid in school, but try to keep a good sense of humor about stuff. I cried when I read about Gwen Stacy dying. Maybe I still do. When I was 14, I accidentally hit an old lady on my bike and I broke her arm. And consequently, I don't ride a bike anymore. <laughs> In the seventh grade, I broke my middle finger playing basketball and I had a cast that kept my finger up like this, which was funny for like a day, and then it sucked. My favorite food is probably steak or sandwiches or steak sandwiches. I hate eating fish. Fish just like grosses me out. Any kind of fish, you know, lobster, salmon, fucking sushi. Ugh. I do like tuna fish sandwiches, but that's it. My uh, old AOL screen name was Gambit7410. Gambit because I really liked Gambit from the X-Men. 7410 because when you had those old number pads on the keyboard, you could just put your finger here and just drag it straight down to 7410. Smart. I went through a phase where I wouldn't step on a crack because my aunt told me that if you step on a crack you break your mother's back and I thought she was being serious. So I would like dance around any sort of crack in the pavement or any pattern on the floor. Now it's sort of mutated into like a really complex like game where every corner shoots off a laser and, and you have to sort of dodge the lasers with the, how you're walking like you're like a jewel thief or something. It's, it's, it's really involved. It, it sucks. My favorite movie of all time is probably The Usual Suspects because, spoiler, Kaiser Soze turns out to be me. I can do this. I prefer music that's upbeat and happy regardless of the genre. I just like it to be fast and fun, you know, like, like me. I like uh, Fade Into Darkness and Footloose and Getting Jiggy With It. That's like a solid three set. Years ago I took a girl on a date to the movies and we missed whatever movie we were gonna see so we just saw the next available movie which turned out to be Hotel Rwanda, which is a great movie uh, but it's about the Rwandan genocide. Fucking devastating. So as we're sitting down in the movie I'm like, oh this is cool, oh my god Rwanda. That, that date did not end well. I am a quarter Austrian, a quarter Chinese, a quarter German, and a quarter Armenian. Which basically amounts to a bunch of really good food. In high school my nickname for about a month was Charmenian. Good, not great. I have a younger brother named Alex and a younger sister named Ricky. My favorite sport to watch is probably New England Patriots. Growing up we had a golden retriever named Oscar. Great, great dog. I used to get in these really bad moods as a little kid. I used to just get a bit really fucking furious and throw hissy fits and shit. So one day, I'm in a bad mood. My parents are like, hey, why don't you uh, name the new puppy? Won't that get you out of the mood? What do you want to name him? And I go, fucking Oscar. Like, <laughs> like Oscar the Grouch, thinking that they would catch on to how furious I was. But they were like, okay, great, Oscar, bang. And it stuck. My parents know how to stick a joke. Sort of along those same lines, when I was a little kid and I would get in these bad moods, they would give me these happy pills. And I would take the pill and I would like have to be happy again. And I didn't find out until later that the pills were in fact ecstasy. Kidding! <laughs> Just kidding. They were jelly beans. Definitely jelly beans. Because I OD'd on them with them. In college, my roommate and I got a pet rabbit named Magua. And we told everybody that Magua was Sanskrit for beautiful. But in fact, Magua was the character from Last of the Mohicans. He's the crazy fucking bad guy at the end, and he goes, I'm just gonna, um, before I kill you, I want you to know I'm gonna kill all your male heirs and wipe your seed from this earth. It's like a really badass scene, but we couldn't tell anybody it was that, because then they thought we were fucking lunatics. I'm a pretty good swimmer, not a classically trained stroke or anything, but I can do a pretty good job of not dying. When I was younger, me and my grandma used to go out on adventures and one day we buried an undisclosed amount of money somewhere in the greater Boston area that I believe has yet to be discovered. I don't really like to drink soda or anything carbonated other than beer and energy drinks. I prefer black ankle socks. In high school I lived for two months in Kunming, China which is in the southwest of China and I didn't then nor do I now speak any Chinese at all. It was an adventure. Back in Boston I used to work for a real estate company and I would wear like Big boy clothes. <laughs> I am right handed, but I eat a lot of food with my left hand. I like my coffee like I like my women. Black. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. 
Uh, but I like my coffee black, and I really like that joke. Some of the best answers to that joke, I like my coffee like I like my women. Short and sweet, hot and creamy, ice cold, blonde, skinny with whipped cream, 100% Colombian, cheap and from a gas station, full bodied with a kick, nutty and not from America. In college, my roommates used to draw dicks on my face all the time. Not when I was passed out drunk with my shoes on, just like on a normal Monday or Tuesday night when I had to test the next day. I like to play chess quite a bit, although I am not very good. My favorite drinking game, hands down, is beer pong. I would conservatively rank myself as the greatest player of all time. In fact, I think that's why I stopped wearing sleeves, because I, you know, I thought that the sleeve was restricting my shot, and so I just started wearing no sleeves all the time. My favorite Christmas song is Candles Burning Low by Stevie Wonder. My major in college was International Studies uh, and Economics. I basically took a bunch of econ and history courses. I wrote my thesis on private military contractors. I was in Austria one time and I got into a bar fight because a guy started screaming some shit in German and I didn't know what the fuck he was saying and then he punched me in the face. So I threw him over a table. International studies! I don't play a lot of video games because I'm fucking terrible at them. I may or may not be banned for life from Gillette Stadium where the Patriots play. I went to a playoff game years ago and I left in handcuffs, but I was so drunk, I, I have no idea what happened. But I had a note in my pocket that says, if you ever came back, we'll arrest you for trespassing. So... It's not as easy to see, but I have a scar on my forehead. It's sort of like right here, like dips like that a little bit. That's from a college buddy of mine, Need Me in the Head. Uh, and I got this scar. And my friends called me Harry Potter for a year after that, which was great. I'm probably the worst cook of all time. I know how to make like a turkey sandwich, and that's pretty much it. In fact, when I was living in Boston, there was a period of like six or seven months where I ate literally every meal in a coffee shop near my house. I have 17 first cousins. Jamie, Emily, Raina, Logan, Ashley, Zachary, Stephen, Catherine, Christina, Maddie, Jason, Shelley, Derek, JP, Annie, Casey, and Erica. I really, really like going on long drives to nowhere and getting lost. I'm the worst dancer of all time. I have this one move where I like pretend like I'm in somebody else's dream. It, it doesn't go over well. I've been in love twice in my life. They say you get three. No pressure. The only casual sneakers I've worn since 2005 are Nike Air Force One because Air Force One. I used to be extremely self-conscious about how skinny my arms were. Then I stopped giving a fuck. I, uh, I bleached my hair once. I'm told it was all the rage with the ladies. I get seasick really easily. I hate roller coasters. I once challenged Lou Ferrigno, who was the Hulk, to an arm wrestling contest. He said, and I quote, <clears throat> No. If I could have one superpower, oof, uh, it would probably be, fuck, all of them. I don't know. Uh, probably Wolverine. Probably the Wolverine healing factor, because you can do whatever the fuck you want. You can jump off a building, you can eat like a hand grenade. Fucking, that would be a blast. When I get nervous, I swear a lot. But if I'm really comfortable, I swear a lot too. So if I'm talking to you and I'm swearing a lot, that means either I really like you or I really don't like you. I take birthdays really seriously. I think they're like a big, big deal. My biggest pet peeve is when someone is arrogant or pompous because fuck you. And I guess that's it. That's 50, right? Or ballpark, it's 50. If you have any questions, if I left anything out, or if you want to fucking hear another one, hit me in the comments or Twitter or whatever. My name is Max, and uh, I'll catch you on the flip side.